OK, so we're going to solve 7 sine squared x minus 5 sine x plus cos squared x equals 0 between 0 and 2 pi radians. So because we've got these quadratics in sine and cosine, it makes sense to write down our trigonometric identity, sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. Now, which should we replace, the sine squared or the cosine squared? Well, in this case, it makes sense to replace the cosine squared. The reason why is I would then be left with a 1 minus sine squared there. OK, so 1 minus sine squared, subtracting sine squared from both sides, which would leave me with a quadratic in sine only. If I replace the sine squared, I will have cos squareds and a sine. And so that causes problems. So I don't want to do that. I'll replace the cosine squared. So 7 sine squared x minus 5 sine x plus 1 minus sine squared x equals 0. So subtract the sine squared x there. Minus 5 sine x plus 1 is 0. Now, go ahead, use the quadratic formula, use your calculator um, to... Uh, solve this quadratic. This one uh, will factorise to 2 sine x minus 1, 3 sine x minus 1 is 0, okay, which is one that you either spot or you can use the factorising process that we've gone through. So either this bracket is 0, so sine x is a half, or this bracket is 0, sine x is a third. OK, so let's sketch sine between 0 and 2 pi. So first one, a half. We'll be expecting two solutions. So inverse sine of a half is pi over 6. So that's our first solution there. And so the second solution is pi over 6 away from pi. So 5 pi over 6. Now, as for sine x is a third, we're we'll expecting two solutions again. So inverse sine of a third is 0 0.340 to 3 sig fig. So that's that first solution there. And the second solution is 0 0.340 away from pi. So pi take away the answer key is 2.80 to 3 sig fig. And so these are the four solutions to the original problem. So in order of size, we're getting the 0 0.340, we get the pi of a 6, then 5 pi of a 6, and then 2.80 to 3 sig fig.